Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And yes, I am starting to get things ready for the, the big project at hand. And a uh, little more elaboration on what this is actually going to be. It's uh, it's more or less going to be a, a base, but it's going to be, in a way, a recycling depot. Uh, going to go around and, you know, like I said, we're going to go over, pick, go over, scan our planet. We're going to go and pick up all these tiny little wrecks and stuff, the broken down rovers, the bases and stuff like that. We're going to grab the materials, we're going to clean up the planet, try to get the beacons off the map because I'm sure that's going to be causing some lag at some point in time. And we're going to reuse them, the, all the materials I get, for some of the builds that I want to do. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's that mess of biome. I definitely want to check that out. That's going to be uh, a fun one. I've already started getting some ideas on that from you know, movies and other games and stuff like that. Not that I'm ripping off ideas, but, you know, just, you know, I mean, we got a, a huge canvas here. Uh, also, that's going to give us an opportunity to go around and actually scan everything and actually scan the entire planet. It keeps going back there. I don't know why. Well, because uh, I have it selected. But yeah, uh, scan the planet uh, at the same time, too. We got to go through the journal. We got to find the monuments. We got to find the logs and find more about the story there's a whole bunch of stuff I haven't scanned so like we still have five more monuments we gotta find we gotta find all the crystals which relatively easy and then we got more of the story and I'm not even not even halfway through that yet but that gives us something to do uh, at the same time uh, hang on a sec and of course minimize the amount of lag in one particular area uh, one of the things I haven't actually done yet with this new update is actually experimented with uh, the rotors and the hinges now that we're powered and they have key bindings. And that's actually something I want to do today. I do have a whole bunch of stuff crafting, like I queued up another couple hundred plates and frames and stuff like that. Oh, there must have been some in there already. I was like, why is there cobalt in there? Nah. I have made some more of the, uh, these SC electronics, the reason being... Actually, I need that glass. Is I sort of want to increase the deuterium production a little bit. Uh, right now, it's not like we need a, a major amount of this. We'll be producing it on, on the go. But I've been looking at how fast this thing actually runs. Now, the refinery will do deuterium in 35 seconds for 20 water. This thing does one water in 30 seconds. So it's kind of slow. It's going to take like 10 minutes to make one. I was thinking about ramping it up, you know, like I usually do. I was going to put 24 of these things up and try to get to two deuterium every minute, but that's a little excessive. But anyways, uh, I just want to fill in the floor a little bit here. Uh, actually, I was going to leave that open because I want to access that water pump in case I need to put a second one in there. But, oh, uh, it's been a while since I built, in fact move that out so I can get the extended range. Uh, if you didn't know, if you hold shift with your scroll wheel, you can actually specify how far away you can build. So it comes in really handy when you're doing, uh, trying to build in places that are just out of reach. So just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the that one there, because that one's connected to the conveyor down below. And I'm going to put the rest of them on top and move the conveyor on top of them. So it's going to be two high, six across. I do have everything all lined up, ready to go for this. So let me get this done and I'll bring it back. Okay, I got them all set up. Thank you, Joy, for interrupting me. At least we have a name for her now. Uh, yeah, I just got them all set up now. Just setting up the endless crafting. Uh, if I haven't mentioned it before, if you change the number like this and put all nines, it'll infinitely craft. Uh, just so you know, I actually forgot to put the refinery in here. Uh, but we'll, what I'll do first is go check on the water pump. See if this thing is keeping up. Just want to keep an eye on this and see how far down it goes, because it doesn't tell you how much an hour, how much it's actually doing. It just says a certain amount of an hour. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to add another water pump, which is fine. I do have resources and the technology 
so we can do that. And I gotta get the refinery all set up. So uh, let me do that, and I'll return. Okay, I got everything all set up now. Oh, we're running out of power. We're running out of power. Uh, oh, yeah, I do have to show him. There you go. I guess I should hook that back up to the grid. Since I moved everything. Alright, so same thing with this. Go to deuterium. Go all nines. So this needs 20 deuterium every 35 seconds. Or 20 water for every 35 seconds to make one deuterium. I am producing 12 water every 30 seconds. So we're going to be looking at one every 45 to 50 seconds which is fine we're not going to need an obscene amount but it's always nice to have plenty on hand and the water pumps do seem to be holding up I had trouble getting out of this hole I was spent five minutes trying to get up this ledge until I realized I had my my finger on d E instead of W but they are filling up I also remember to uncheck that just to make sure it doesn't fill up the system which is good because I could put the floor back in awesome Oh, there's a lag spike. Eh, they're not too bad yet. Wait till I start building, then things are gonna things are gonna start getting pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave that switchboard there for now. I can not build today. And here I am planning on building things that move. <laughs> That'd be fun. But yeah, so I wanna do some, you know, just some testing. There's a lot of things I actually want to do in this game, uh, but sadly, my any type of motor that I had was the size of a house but now that's been changed so now I don't need to have four hover pads and big wall around them just to be able to get something to move so that is good so what I want to do is I actually want to build this off grid or not to build this oh, sorry I'm trying to see if the sun's coming up or going down I can't tell but uh, yeah let's uh Sometimes I should go down. Let me have a quick nap, and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, it is morning. It, I am ready to go. I got a bunch of stuff on me, right? I believe, actually. That's not what I want to do. Uh, and need, need some glass, need circuits. Okay. We should be good. That's one thing about taking the show on the road. I want to deal with this rain all the time. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to build it off-grid just in case I decided to get anything in here that uses key bindings. At least I'm not uh, interfering. So we're just going to go with the old base foundation. We'll make it nice bright yellow because, hey, it is a testing ground, right? And I think we should have enough room. And come on. There you go. Okay. Cheap to make. Heavy as all hell. Unfortunately. Well, I know how to build, don't I? Hee hee hee. Anyway, uh, let's get a switchboard down so we have some power. And... I'll just make it red so I can actually see where it is. Go ahead, connect you to there. And, you remember the days before switchboards? <laughs> you'd have one generator, you turn your build vision on, you have like 50 wire lines coming off the thing, it was so blinding. Uh, some, of the, some of my older builds. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do... Let's change the color from this yellow because it's awfully bright. <laughs> so we'll do that. Uh, one thing I noticed too, the water effect on the, the visor actually still moves when you paused, which is interesting. Uh, so let's uh, see what we got for hot bars here. Uh, number six it is. All right, this is just going to be like powered stuff. So uh, we will need, first of all, we're going to need a terminal. So we'll place a terminal there. Uh, we will need some sort of cockpit. Uh, I think for this case we're going to go with a stand-up because, you know, it's a testing facility. And then, of course, we're going to get our, our two little test subjects. Powered blocks, or the hinges, and the rotors. Uh, I do want to do some weight testing on these, too. So we're going to have to get the old base foundation. Maybe, maybe not a beacon because I can't afford it. Yes, being being resource poor is never a good thing. And then, of course, blocks. Now, I'm not going to do extensive testing. There are ideas I want to try out and see what happens. Anyway, we'll start by getting uh, a terminal down. If I get it right, uh, let's make this green so I can actually see it. I'm sure I can see it no matter what. 
And then now we need a uh, cockpit. Just because. We'll make it white. And we'll do it right there. Composite parts. Of course I need composite parts. By the way, I'm out of, out of iron. Go figure. Who would have thought, huh? Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Uh, I do have biomass. Oh, not much. Uh, how many of those composite parts do I need? I need two. I think I, actually, I can make two of them. No, I can't. All right, let me go cut down a tree or two, and I'll be right back. Okay, I printed them now. One thing I do like about the Mark uh, Mark IV multi-tool, you can cut down the trees before they have a chance to fall on you. Literally a chainsaw. Okay, so let's go back out here, and I probably should stop using the storks. I got this giant aquarium in front of me. Up we go, and down we go. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start setting our key bindings. Oh, I thought I had my light on. Now, there are things I want to do as far as testing goes. So, first, we're going to start with a block. That's not a block. That's a block. So, we're going to place one there, and we are going to put a rotor on top. Now, this is where the renaming actually comes in handy. Because it gives us the option to actually go in here and rename it. And we'll just name this Rotating Joint 1. Just because that's the first one I built. Now, if you go in here, you can see a key, bind, uh, key bindings menu. So we can rotate left, rotate right, start rotation, start right rotation, start right rotation, and stop rotation. And on some of them, I thought it would be here, but apparently not on this one, but on some of the blocks, there's actually multiple keys that you can have for the bindings. And I think we can do that with the aircraft. Uh, as soon as I can get out of here. <laughs> always, There's always an X in the corner if you need it. But if we go over here, I did not put a terminal on this. Of course not. We'll see. We'll put one on and see if I have enough to afford it. Uh, as soon as I get my rotation right, it's upside down. Who cares? Uh, Mark one composites. Go figure. Nobody saw that. No, oh, it needs power. All right. So now, if we open up this up, now the air blades, I do believe had multiples. One of them did, and I can't remember which one it was. I remember one of them had like a or primary and secondary. Must have been something else. Must have been maybe the hinges. But yeah, that is that. Now, in order for this to work, we do have to give it power. It's not showing the power right now because it's still technically a rotating block. And there is a lock in here. You can actually. I thought you could customize that. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go back in here and see if that changes. No, it doesn't. I thought there was a way to actually lock it. Oh. I thought I gave you power already. Okay, and rotating joint. I thought there was an actual way to lock it. I think maybe if it's stopped, it doesn't actually lock. We'll have to do some more testing on this. But anyways, we go ahead and uh, put some blocks on on the rotor as soon as I find the right ones. And we'll put last one yellow. Well, they're both going to be yellow because it doesn't do it until I actually build it. So now, if I go in here... Oh, good old leg spikes. Okay, we'll unlock it. motor off. Uh, I guess we should get in here. And zoom in a little so we can actually see what we're doing. Now we'll bring up the terminal. We got a rotating joint. Uh, oh, okay, yes. There you go. Yeah. So you have primary, secondary, and a third. So left we can have left arrow, or we can also have, for instance, let's say comma so we can have multiple key bindings up to three by the looks of it so that's right and then this will be right and then we'll do period just because and then start stop rotation which will be well for this case let's make it space so now if we get it go out um 
I still lock it. Oh, maybe I gotta do it this way. Okay, disable and just disable C bindings. That makes sense. Okay, and then we'll do left and right and try that. Hmm. Something is amiss here. Oh, it is working. Just really, really slowly. That makes sense. Alright. And then, as you can see, we switch it on the go. We can stop it. Now the question I have is, is this a locket? So let's place, it, let's place it sideways. If I get my keys right. I was just uh, joking around about uh, making shirts for recording purposes. Uh, I'm going to make a shirt that says Wrong Button BC. Maybe a picture of a giant new kit in a planner or something. Alright, so now we go like this. We'll build that. Make sure that's actually locked. Okay. And then we'll get some more blocks on here. One, two, fill those in, and let's do this right black with a yellow block at the end just so we can see a little better not that it matters so now if I go into here go back to the terminal and we'll change those keys again uh, start left rotation start right rotation and stop rotation okay we'll unlock you and go into here so it going on there. Okay, is it actually on now? Uh, hmm. Does it not have the power? It has no power at all. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Yes. Okay. Go back in here. And we'll go the other way. And stop rotation does lock it in place. That's good to know. Really good to know. Now the question is, how much force does it actually support? Bring on the foundation. If I can get on there. Come on. Impressive. Very impressive. That's a lot of weight. Especially cantilevered like that. Because we don't need locking mechanisms. It actually locks a joint. Cool. In case you're wondering, that's about 12 tons right there. 13 tons actually off of that one joint. That is a hell of a lot of force. Alright, now Wow. These have some serious power. Yeah, don't try to do this on a f something flying because you'll completely flip it over. And thank God we're in a game that doesn't have block damage. Well, that is very cool. I like that. Basically what, what I've been wanting for a very long time. Okay, so now we're going to do some testing on the hinges. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Uh, we'll bring this down one more. Get the old trusty hinge out. And fill that in. That is going to be locked. Yes, it is. All right. Now what we'll do is the same thing. We'll put some more blocks on top. Nutrition. 
Oh, be quiet, Joy. I'm busy. It's actually nice to have a, a name to call her. I don't know what I was calling her before. But, yeah. And then we'll do the same thing. Yellow block on top. Go ahead and fill that in. And give it power. And hop in the driver's seat. The testing chair. Now, key bindings. There's only two of them. Really? But in here it's toggle, turn on, turn off. Okay, what's going on here? Hinge, yes. Hmm. Looks like it has to be custom done in two different places. So we might have to do it in that is this, right? Oh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, why is there no stop? Rotate left, rotate right. Uh, hmm. Alright, well, let's check this out then. That's not the right button. Okay, let's try that. Uh, unlock it. Turn motor on. Oh, and of course, speed. Okay, so it's just. It's that does make sense. You don't want this thing to continually go. Now, bring on the base foundations. This is really interesting because this is. Uh, Give me a lot of things I can do. A lot of things I've wanted to do, like I said. And come on. Snap on there, please. It'll get there eventually. I know it will. But yeah, things like... Uh, like the arm on the, the second big base ship, the mining rig, stuff like that. It's more easier to do now because just because of the fact that things lock in place. I don't have to worry about using hover pad locking bars to hold everything in place when it's in transport and all sorts of good stuff. That's not right. Uh, come on. Get on there. Fine, I'll put you on top because that's where you want to go. There. And... One more. One more for good measure. Can definitely handle it. I'm actually surprised they have so much power. Like being able to move this much weight is incredible. Unbelievable. Okay, we've hit the limit. By the looks of it, yes, we have. There's no actual transmission on it. All right, well, it's pretty good. Two ba two base foundations is pretty good in my books. All right, let's try taking this off. And yeah, I was already hovering when I got out, and I turned off. So now I'll just try this one more time. Yeah, two base foundations is not a problem, which is good because that's that's a lot of weight. That's more than what we'll ever need. Cool. And I think we have time to do one more little thing as soon as I hit the right buttons to get out of here. Let's go ahead and take this down. And this is... Actually, you know what? We can actually leave that here. I don't know. We'll take it down. We'll start from scratch. Because i got to re rebind the keys. So we go back to number three, we'll do that, we'll do a couple of blocks, 
three, four. And then I'll do another hinge. Uh, three. And another block. And another hinge. And some more blocks. And we'll just see what this does. So, one of the things I've wanted to do is sort of like a scissor lift. Now, I don't know how well this is actually going to work, because uh, it does have to get kind of confusing. Uh, just because of key binds and stuff like that, and I realize it's getting dark here. Power, power, and power. Okay, so, now what we have to do, it might be easier to visually do this instead of going to the, uh, the terminal. So that, uh, we're gonna add this one is going to be, yeah, okay, we're going to go opposite here. That's going to be right, and I'm doing this for a reason, left, okay, we go here, go right, left, these are arbitrary too, keep that in mind, I'm just doing this for the sake of doing it. Um, if I ever use builds like this, I'll be using different keys on the keyboard, of course. Now this one is going to be proper left and right. All right, now, if I'm correct, this should fold up. If I unlock everything. Come on, what's going on here? Do I have to actually turn them on? Yes, I do. Ooh, you don't like that. All right, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Sort of the same idea. Uh, adjust the speed of this a little bit. Uh, I'm sure some of you are thinking, oh, here we go. Uh, you know what? Let me get some daytime here. Alright, it's daytime. Uh, this is actually the second time I record this. I uh, ended the episode and I forgot to talk about something. Oh, I got some of those backwards. Oh well. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, so on second speed, it's not really the greatest, right? Doesn't seem to be working out too well, and it seems to have to do with the amount of weight that's on there. And this just doesn't want to move. Uh, I tried putting a base foundation on here. Needless to say, the base foundation is awfully heavy and the hinge does not like it. And as we will demonstrate. Oh, what was it? Uh, five? Uh, I could be using beacons, but those are expensive. I don't have the money for the uh, resources for the beacons right now. Come on. That'll do. And as you can see, it just drops right down. So we'll run over here. And then we'll go back into third person. Oh, that's not the right arrows. See, and it just does. I want to lift it. At the same time, too, there was a lot of play actually in the hinges, but I d definitely have some ideas I could come up with just using these hinge ideas all together. So there's that. And then uh, a few more things, too, about this build that I'm going to be working on for our big project here, our multi purpose mission. Uh, Basically, it's going to be, like I said, almost like a recycling depot. There's going to be storage for parts and stuff like that. Uh, it's going to be uh, sort of like a holding area. If I ever run across little unique things, I may try to actually just, you know, grab the whole build and take it with us. And just as, you know, sort of like a little relic or a little treasure, for instance. Uh, I also do want to have an, a storage area for the parts that we find that we can't make, like the, the tanks and the, the thrusters and all that stuff. Now, there might be a few others. Uh, I also like to try to grab some of the actual wing sections, you know, the uh, destroyed pieces that were around the pod here that I took, I took apart. So, yeah, that's the, the whole plan. And, you know, like I said, at least it was, we're just going to go around and do a planetary cleanup slash beautification project. The world is our canvas, and we are going to use every single corner of it. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.